This Sunday, the 53rd Annual Grammy Awards will be presented, and Akron's own The Black Keys are nominated for five Grammys. Those nominations are for their album, Brothers. As News Channel 5's Joe McGee shows us, it's an exciting time for the band members' mothers. It's hard to turn on a TV, a radio, or search the web without seeing or hearing the Black Keys. The band, made up of Pat Carney and Dan Arbach, both from Akron, have been slowly building their reputation for years. Their latest album, Brothers, has made this year, well... It's been off the hook, as they say. <laughs> it's just one thing after the other. They figured out how to do what sets their heart on fire and get somebody to pay them for it. So Mary Stormer and Mary Arbach sure are proud of their boys. They've seen their sons and their son's music grow. But for a mother to see her child become famous? So I'm sitting getting ready in the morning for work and I have the TV on and all of a sudden I hear my, my son's voice saying something. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> but early on, when your son tells you he's going to have a career in music, motherly instincts do kick in. When I saw them taking off in that minivan with a four-inch piece of foam in the back that they were going to sleep in and some other seat wired into it, and I'm thinking, no seat belts, and you've got all this stuff in here, and you're going to sleep like this. I think uh, both of them seem to, to have matured a lot, haven't they? Yeah, they're, they're pretty grounded. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, I mean, we watched them do this since they were teenagers, so now that they're kind of grown up. One thing is, the Black Keys' heart is still in Akron. In Akron, Joe McGee, News Channel 5.